Hey everybody, it's Robert Lackey from Bison Track Gear. Here with you once again, today we are talking about our Airhide Air Vest compatible suits and jackets. A lot of people wonder about that Airhide name. They think it's an Air Vest. Actually, Airhide indicates the construction and assembly of our suits and jackets, which will accept seven of the most popular Air Vests that are on the market today. You've got zippers and Velcros and straps and buckle slots and tether ports for these various vest uh, brands and styles. But today we're going to take a look at a tether vest deploying inside of an airhide suit because the electronic vests, uh, they're tried and true. Everybody has seen them deploy, I think, at different race venues and that sort of thing. But there's not many people using the tether vests uh, on the racetrack. And people ask me all the time, well, how do they deploy? Because here's the thing with tether vests. They were made to go on the outside of a jacket for street riding. Um, they weren't really intended for track riding in the first place, and they were never really intended to go underneath a suit or a jacket. We're talking about all the different tether vest brands out there. Nobody really thought that these were going to be used under a suit on a racetrack. Now, what we've done is we have assembled our suits and, and jackets, for that matter, to accept that vest inside the leather. So between the liner and between the leather, you have the air vest. Now, here's the benefit to that. The tether vests were made basically as a one-time use impact uh, protection on the street. So you hit a car, you go over the car, the vest deploys, and uh, you know it's probably good to use again. But if you slide, having that Cordura vest on the outside of your leathers, that is going to damage it, usually beyond use. You probably can't use it again after that slide. So you want to protect that product, and what better way than to put it under your leathers, right? Because they're made to wear on the outside, the expansion channels are huge. The volume of air, the amount of expansion is a lot more than most of your electronic vests that are on the market right now. So people ask us all the time, how do these vests actually function inside the leathers? Because they weren't ever really intended for this purpose. Well, take a look at this. This is Kayla Yakov. She races Moto America Junior Cup, and she is using our Thor Point 2 air hide leathers with a hit air tether vest inside. You'll see here her dad's going to grab the lanyard. He's going to deploy the CO2 cartridge. And you'll see just how much coverage, just how much expansion there is here. But the suit handles it very well, keeps her comfortable, keeps her mobile. But she is very protected inside those leathers. So take a look here at this hit air deployment inside a Thor Point 2 suit. Wait, 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 wait. Leave it, leave it. All right, ready, ready. And don't forget, one pop. Go on, go on, just go. Not fast. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Every time it happens, I always say it's not that bad. Nice. Whee! You are definitely protected. <laughs> It keeps getting tighter. <laughs> <laughs> See how long it takes to do one. <laughs> She's <laughs> You got a chest in? Yeah, I have everything in. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, I gotta go. It looks good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instant break in right there. I got nervous. You probably shouldn't ride around in there. You have. Yeah, you should. Yeah. 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 Do you have the oh, looks good. Though. Okay, so there you have it. As you can see, lots of inflation, lots of coverage. Kayla is going to be very well protected with that hit air vest inside the leathers. Now, one thing she won't be doing is picking her bike up immediately and rejoining the race because, as you can see, she was really puffed up and uh, not very comfortable <laughs> in terms of being able to ride with that vest inflated. These vests don't have rapid inflation as the electronic vest do like the Alpine Stars and Dainese systems. So that's something to consider. Are you going to want to pick your bike up, rejoin the race and try to fight for a podium while you're puffed up? If you are, the tether vests may not be for you. Which vest is right for you? Well, to answer that question, go to bisontrack.com, go to our blog section. You will see our 2021 Air Vest Buyer's Guide located there. We've got all the pros, the cons, the specs, the pricing. We've even got a diagram, a table that lists everything. Uh, right there between the seven different vests that you can use inside an air hide suit. And that'll help guide you to make your educated decision on which vest you're going to put inside your new bison leathers. So hopefully that's helpful. Speaking of helpful things, if this video helped you out and was educational, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel so you can see more cool content coming in the future. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. But until then, as always, go fast, be safe.
Thanks for watching, guys.